Another member of the Aspergillus genus, Aspergillus versicolor, is closely related to Aspergillus idowi. It is commonly found in soil and decaying organic matter, and has been known to develop on many kinds of food. Initially, Aspergillus versicolor appears white, but turns yellow, tan, pale green, or pink over time. It can often be observed in an emerald green color with a powdery texture. It has a musty or earthy odor and is a common indicator of moisture, humidity, and ventilation problems in buildings. Aspergillus versicolor produces mycotoxins. Stigmatocystin is structurally similar to aflatoxin B1. It is considered a potent carcinogen, mutagen, and teratogen to humans. It is also pathogenic and causes aspergillosis in pet animals. Aspergillus versicolor is tough. It is a primary colonizer capable of growing in low water and high salinity conditions. It can survive arctic conditions as well as the Dead Sea. Impressively, Aspergillus versicolor spores are so resilient that they survive both the launch to and the descent from space. Unfortunately, this means that the environment in our homes is like a vacation in a five-star hotel for this Aspergillus. The mold reproduces via high quantities of light spores which get dispersed through the air to colonize new territories. If inhaled in large quantities, these spores can create health problems, especially for people with compromised immunity. In these cases, Aspergillus versicolor can begin to colonize the lungs, causing the severe condition known as aspergillosis. As the consequences of Aspergillus versicolor exposure can become quite severe, the best way to deal with such a threat is to avoid it entirely. At the first sight of mold, call mold busters and we will take care of it. To become an expert in protecting yourself and your family against mold, visit bossmold.com and subscribe to our channel.